Hello everyone, it's Dino Don here again with a short update on my War Corsair project. As you can see, today I got the aircraft rolled over onto its back and the wings back, uh, back on it. So now I can get to work on the belly. Here I've got a mount I welded together to attach to the four corners of the motor mounts. This metal tube. This is a tube that slips over a tube on here and then that's attached to my little tripod or bipod there. And I also for extra measures for now I have the wings tied up to the truss assemblies to the ceiling to hold them in place. Uh, without the straps they'll uh, it'll want to roll on its axis. So that's kind of where I'm at. So now it's nice and steady. Now you can see where I need to finish phone in. There's the tubes for the pedo tubes. You've got to be run up, snaked up through. All this has to be uh, epoxied in. Uh, and I got the tail. And you can see I got the tail here. I got some uh, inner fire hose uh, cloth where a place I used to work. I grabbed some scrap fire hose. Works good for the saddle. And the, the tail's not on there. Let me get up here on top of the ladder. And, you bird's eye view of what I've got to do. So essentially I got to go from that wing tip through the landing gear across the belly all the way back to that wing tip. And from the firewall down to the tail. Bottom of the wings are tail sections already done. That was a little accident there. The tail wheel was sitting on a small step ladder. This little guy here. And it rolled off and landed on top of the step ladder there. So I'm going to kind of cut that out and patch it up. And then sand that up. I'll probably start with the tail, finish this tail section, get it glassed. Uh, the tail wheel actually has to retract in so that it has to be put down and then foamed around and glassed on. So the rest of it's just a matter of not much foam left to work. So most of this will be hollow. You put a strip you know, along here and then a sheet across. To the other side and you leave this as hollow as can be to keep it lightweight so that's what it looks like and then this back section here these will all be sanded shaped a little better and then um, I think most of this is just going to get a, a coat of epoxy and then of course fill in the rest of this wing tip and you can see how this is what it looks like after trying to glass this thing from underneath when it's all this all had to be one continuous wrap, two, sh two layers actually. So on the, the wheel, the landing gear, I had to disconnect the connection here to fold them down. They wouldn't go all down because they hit the foam inside. So, <clears throat> so that all has to be shaped for the gear to tuck down in there. And hopefully it won't require any blisters on the top of the wing. And then of course the radiator uh, has to be covered in here, glass, uh, thin layer glass on everything, epoxy on the wood. And then back here, it's got to have an opening, a little dovetail, so the air can pass out and through. So this side, you can see, is the cold air in to the cabin. On this side, you notice there's no hole, but the hole's back here. Where is it? Hmm? Guess not. Uh, oh well, either way, I gotta cut a hole in there on one side. Yeah, I think it's this side I gotta cut the hole and let the air go inside the cabin. So that's where I'm at. Just a quick update. Keep you guys uh, tuned in to what I've got going. So hopefully I got enough foam. There's the panels, like I said before, they're gonna finish the wings here. Uh, the belly, I may need to go get one more sheet of foam from Lowe's or someplace. So that's where I'm at. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll uh, try to keep them going as, as long as I can keep the work going. So hope everybody enjoys the video for now. This is Dino Don out. Thanks for watching.